Guys, welcome to Empower ED, where we wanna show you some tips and tricks to make you a better electrician or more money as a DIY homeowner. I'm here with my buddy, Wade. Hey. We call him uh, Tough Fingers here. We're bit. trying to flip these freaking breakers, <laughs> but they're not uh, wanting to trip. So hey, we wanna talk about freaking panels uh, today because they are probably the most intimidating thing um, in your house, in your, uh, well, number one, what does every electrician that's been working for like three weeks want to do? Change the panel. Change a panel, dude. They want to, I can't wait to work in the panel. They don't know how to wire a plug right, but man, I can't wait to get in this panel. That's for where you some, start. For some reason, <laughs> DIYers, homeowners, are scared as crap of these, and electricians that have no business being inside of it want to get their dirty hands in it. So we wanted to just kind of, I wanted to talk about everything in a panel, if you don't mind opening it up. And, yeah. Kind yeah. of talking about it. Absolutely. So in a panel, most panels, this is going to look a little different than your uh, house panel, but it's very similar. Usually there's like a little cover that opens up and there'll be screws that you have to take off to take off the dead front or the cover. Okay. That's what this is. In a commercial application, there's a cover and a dead front. This is all in one. And in your house, it's all, all in one piece. Yeah. So this is the, the dead front or the cover. Um, these are breakers right here. Okay, you wanna zoom in? Are you able to zoom in? Just because breakers will have their amperage. So there's 100 amp and there's 20 amp. There's also GFI style breakers. There's 15 amp breakers, two pole 30s. This is a two pole 100. Steph, do you know why it's called a two pole? Because you pull it twice? No, because these two things are connected. But good, you don't have to pull it twice because see how it's connected? You would turn it both on. It's got a tie handle. Like that, okay? This is a single pull, this is a double pull. So, anyways, Wade, talk to us about this panel. So, basically, we wired this up for just demonstration. So, what we ended up doing is just running 120 volts to it, but we tied them together and we ran both legs to this two pole. So typically this would be basically our main. So this is the main power that goes to everything. If we shut the main off as it's going, these are the only leads that are actually gonna have power. So we'll go ahead and we oh, can okay. test this. Are you able to get that? So, so number one, there is voltage. There is voltage. And it's 120 volts, 110, 120. 122. 122. Yeah. Your voltage has to be within 10%. Yeah, plus, so it could, yeah, plus minus 10%. Plus or minus 10%. So 120 volt panel, 122, that's good. Yep. Now, like you said, you tied both of those legs together. Mm -hmm. So if you put A and B face together, so if you put it on there, I don't think it's going to register. No. Nope. Because it's the same phase. But if it was two different legs, it, it would, would read 240 volt. So even if the panel is off, so let's let's specify this. You're gonna work in your panel. You turn the main off so that everything is killed. The power is still coming through those bolts right there and the wire attached to it. Everything in your panel is not dead unless you pulled your meter or you had a disconnect outside. So I just wanna be very, very clear. Even in your house, you turn off the main, that is still energized. You still have to be careful and cautious. 100%, a lot of times they'll have just two leads that go right into the top. There'd be lugs up there. Yep. Like lugs a, up there. Something yep. very similar to this right here. Yeah. This is a ground lug. It would yep. be up here over each one of these metal bus bars is what these are called over here. So the next thing we're gonna have on in this particular panel is we're gonna have, usually there'll be a ground wire or a neutral. So on this particular one, they've, they've decided to make this one is going to be our neutral. That's usually indicated by a white wire okay so that's usually going to be the neutral in your main panel this is going to be bonded together but this is not a main panel so <laughs> it's not bonded together but then this side will have what we call a ground bus and it can be marked with this yellow or green typically or a bare wire that will be our main ground and they'll be these grounds will go off to a water pipe or to some ground rods, other things mm -hmm. that are gonna be outside. So, so question, wait, yeah. this is turned off and yep. we said that these screws and these wires are hot. Mm -hmm. So is this one, if this one's on, mm -hmm. is this one hot? 
Well, I would say let's test it and see because there, it should we not go. be on. There we go. I just want to really emphasize what he just said. Now, it should not be on. There should not be power. You know what happens when you make assumptions? You get electrocuted. You get a friggin' electrocuted, okay? <laughs> you shit all over yourself because you get shocked. So rather than just touching it or acting like it's not live, test it. Now, what kind of tester do you have there? Uh, this is a fluke. Yeah, this is, is a fluke electrical tester. It's a T-Pro. I've, I've had this one for 15 to 15 oh, years. Oh, I can tell, dude. That's an ancient as days <laughs> one there, baby. Um, they sell these at Lowe's and Home Depot at a lot of hardware stores. They are worth the investment. You don't. Some of them have a little amp clamp that can run into price about $100, $125, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Um, these ones, $20, $30, $40. Uh, this one here, because, I mean, it's a fluke. So it's it's gonna be about eighty bucks. Eighty bucks. Well, wow, gosh dang. So yeah. and we can put some links below of some ones that you can get. But once again, yeah. I just want to stress as we test this, this is for educational purposes, not in installation purposes. There there is a reason that DIYers are scared of panels. You do not want to just go touching things. You don't want to make assumptions. You want to be very very careful. So we're trying to show you what is energized in this panel. So this one should be off because the main is off. Let's let's test it. Make sure there's no power there. So, we can see there. No Put power. On the screw, no power. Okay. And go to the next one. No power. Here. No power again. Perfect. Okay. Now, if we turn the main on. Yeah. Let's 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 go through it. Yep. So now. Power. We do have power. Yeah. We do have power. And again, okay. Now, do you have power? Sorry, do you have power just to the encase to this the encasement? Do we have power to here? Yeah. Like if you touch this, are you going to get shot? No. Okay. No. What no. if you touch those little metal prongs that are sticking These up? These right little there? metal prongs, you will get shocked. That's what the breaker actually stabs onto. <laughs> so when we're trying to disconnect these, this stabs on. That little bus right there stabs into this breaker and that's what it clamps onto. It's just a mechanical clamp. So this breaker would be ready to be disconnected and replaced if it was bad. But we wanna be still very careful if our main is, if our power is on, now all of these uh, buses inside here, they now have voltage as we can see. That's exactly what this is stabbing onto into the breakers. Now our breaker here is now dead. That's yeah, gonna be a little tricky. Yeah. There and there. We dead. can see it's dead. No power. Perfect. Okay. Then how you would turn stab this back on I would, of course, shut all of this off before you try to install the breaker yourself. It's usually stabs into the back and you can't pull it off. It's got a little hook on the back and then you will push it down. You should get the same breakers that are going to go with the manufacturer. So square D breakers go into square D panels, uh, Eaton breakers go into Eaton panels, so on. I don't know if you can see this, Steph. What kind of breaker is this right here? Can you see that? It says, what kind of breaker is this, Steph, right here? E10. E10. Yeah. <laughs> Eaton. Eaton. Um, perfect. Awesome. Anything else? So we know that there is a main, okay? We know that there's a main breaker that even when it's turned off, the wire and the terminals are still hot. They could be lugs, they could be breakers, doesn't matter, that is still hot, be careful. That's right. When you turn it off, even when you turn it off and things should be de-energized, you are still gonna take time to test them to make sure they're, they are de-energized before you, before you get into them. Um, no matter what, well, if it's on, the buses are live, the, the bus bars over there are not, what else do we need to say about this? When when changing out a breaker, sometimes it'll happen. It'll go bad. Um, you're going to pop it out. You're going to grab. You're going to turn it off. You're going to grab hold of the handle mm -hmm. and pull it sideways. Pop it out. Take the screw off. 
take that into your Home Depot or Lowe's. And get and the exact same the one. The exact same breaker. Walk up to somebody and say, this is what I need in the electrical department and you'll get that. Now, Wade, you, you take this breaker off. Yeah. Take it off real quick. You have a screwdriver? Yeah. Because this is one thing, just like we said, remember in the light bulb video where we said, take the light bulb out and take it with you. Um, there's no danger at taking a light bulb out of a light and leaving it be. But if you're a handyman or woman <clears throat> and you have small kids <clears throat> or people are gonna be by, would, would it be bad to take this breaker and leave this panel like that and go to Home Depot or Lowe's? Absolutely, it would be dangerous. Would it be dangerous to turn it back on and leave it like this? Absolutely, so what should you do with this wire right here? Look at that. Put a wire nut on it. Put a wire nut on it, just heaven forbid something touches, put a wire nut on it, put the panel cover back on, and then you can turn this on, okay? And you have very much so mitigated the risk of anyone getting shocked. Mm -hmm. The only other potential shock hazard would be that there's gonna be a gap where that breaker was. So that is a potential problem. They do make these little, uh, plastic pieces at Lowe's and Home Depot that will snap in. What are those called? It's a breaker blank. A breaker blank. Yep. Um, they're different sizes for different panels, so you do have to make sure that it's compatible with an Eaton panel, but you wanna really make sure that you are safe when working in a panel. We are trained, we have been in thousands of panels, we know what's gonna shock us, what's not, so we have some confidence, but overconfidence will lead to assumptions, it will lead to get, getting you shocked, so, once again, this is just educational purposes. This is not installation purposes, okay? I would always, when dealing with the panel, call a licensed electrician to come and help you. We are teaching you some tips and tricks, but you wanna be careful about this. Your brother-in-law is great, but you need to keep him too. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think that about covers it with these panels. Um, we'll probably do more in-depth videos to arc fault breakers. GFI breakers, maybe show some 30, some two pole 30, some two pole 50s. What does a two pole 50 usually go to? Your range, your kitchen, your kitchen oven, right? To, or maybe a two pole 40, 50, or 60. You've also got your heater, your water heater. Your dryer, washing machine. I mean, all these different things. Could Big be a welder. Could be your Tesla charger. A welder? Who the, besides KC Fab, who the hell's got welders in their garage? I do. This guy, dude, that's what, do you know why I'm getting him on camera now? But guys and gals, thanks a ton for tuning in. I hope this was educational. If you want us to specify something and really deep dive into it, be sure to say it in the comments below. We do read these, we don't like, so if you talk smack too, I'm gonna talk smack back. But we love you, we're just trying to make Kansas City brighter, America brighter, ha uh ha -huh. Be sure to subscribe, we'll talk to you later.